Today's video is on printing. Not your normal sort of printing, but double-sided printing. Now sometimes when we cut out images, it would be really nice to be able to, like in the case of this butterfly that you can see here, to actually have the image printed on the back and the front. But it's something that takes a little bit of getting used to and it's not something that you can generally do straight off and get it perfect first time round. So I thought I'd tell you how I managed to get this done and hopefully you can put it to use and make life a lot easier. So I have my image here which happens to be completely free and available for use on Pixabay. Dot com. It's a beautiful butterfly and I've just chosen to do a normal trace with an added image layer for the print and cut. So I'm just going to click OK on that and there we go. That's gorgeous. It really is a nice butterfly. That one. Now it's quite a large image so if I were to do this as a print and cut I'd probably fill the page. But what I'm just going to do here is just go to edit sorry, object and duplicate. I've got to select it first. Okay, object and duplicate. And I'm just going to do a few rows of this. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pretend that I want to print and cut all this lot. So what I'm going to do now is to group them. And then I am going to put them to the center of the page. Now whether it's centered vertically doesn't really matter but you want to center it from side to side most definitely. Okay. So I've only centered it from side to side and I've not bothered with the vertical centering. Now you go to your preview and you can see that you have a printable there and you can see the uh, registration marks. Now in this particular case it looks as though the registration marks are out of bounds. So I'm just going to make these images a bit smaller. Again I'm going to centre it and in this particular case I'm just going to lower them down a bit. No, I didn't want to do that a bit for some reason. Okay, I just used my bigger arrow key, so it's only doing it by small increments, that's why. Okay, so I've got it in the centre horizontally. So if I check my preview, I've got my registration marks, and I've got my print outlines and everything's where it should be, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's fine. Now, when it comes to printing this, the first side of it, i.e. this side, isn't going to be a problem. I can go to File and I can go to Print. Now when I do this, I've got a Canon, when I do this I have a special page setting set up which is called Print Cut Borderless because I've changed my settings so that they are optimal for what I want to use them for. I've got it to set print registration marks otherwise they won't print on there and under the print options or when you have the options listed there's borderless printing and I have selected that okay and I've just labeled it as my particular preference and I would send that to the printer so all very well and good but how do you print the back because if you were just going to print this again they would be the wrong way around for a start. You see all these butterflies are leaning towards the right and if I was to do this exact same thing on the back they would be leaning in the wrong direction. So we definitely don't want to do that. What we do want to do is take these and we want to do a flip and this will turn our butterflies over like so. Having said that, that still isn't the end of the problem because quite often you will find, and I certainly did, that even if I did this and they are still centred to the page, which they are, look, see it doesn't move, they didn't quite line up and 
I don't know whether it's something to do with the software or whether it's something to do with the actual printers, but they were always slightly out of line. Vertically, they were fine, but they were out of sync horizontally. So the next step is to print these off as is. So take your piece of paper that has been printed the correct way round, put it in your printer so that it will print on the other side. Now, depending on the printer you have, it depends on how you put the paper in. With my Canon, I simply put this in, head up, top up, as it looks at the moment, and put it into the printer and it will print on the reverse. So you then do your second print. Now don't do this on card, do it on paper. Because if you do it on paper, you'll see the registration marks on both sides. And you can then check to see if the registration marks are in exactly the same place. Just by looking through the paper, they'll show up. If you only see one set, then everything's fine. If you see two sets, then they're not lined up. If they're not lined up, take your piece of paper and measure the distance between the lines. If I go to preview here, if they're not lined up, you'll probably have a line here and then you'll have another line that may be a couple of millimetres away, three millimetres away. Measure the distance between those two lines. Now in my particular case, when I went to do the print on the reverse, my images were too far over to the right. Okay, they were, if I press one of the keys, they were like over there instead of in the center. So what I did was I went to the object move, transform, move, and then you can adjust it. Now don't use the absolute position, use the relative position. The axis that you are talking about here is the x-axis. So the y one you don't want to alter. So put a naught in there and put the measurement that you gained from your measuring the distance between the two registration marks in this one. If it's too far over to the right, put in minus. And in my case, it's minus 0.2. If it's too far over to the left, if your print was too far in that direction, then just put in 0.2, or plus 0.2 as it would be, not a minus number. And then you can do your print. And hopefully it will be exactly right. Now do bear in mind that if you have done a print on the front and a print on the back, and you have altered the position of your print, your creatures that you want to print, your butterflies or whatever it may be, remember to cut it from that side or you have to go back to your original plan, i.e. cancel that, you would flip it back and then you would go to object, transform, move, and you would go naught, and then you would simply put in 0 0.2 and apply it and it would move it. Whoops. That's why you don't use the absolute position. Hold on, let's cancel that. Object transform move. Put it to relative position. Put the naught in there. And then put in... 0.2 and apply it and it moves it very slightly back to the right in the same amount that you moved it to the left previously and then you can click OK and then check that the piece of paper has got the butterflies or whatever it is you're printing in the right direction and that your, uh, your registration marks are in the right direction and they're not upside down or whatever and then you can do your print and cut. Now I managed to get this to work really nicely. I did some quite small butterflies and I did a whole sheet of them and I got it to cut out pretty well. I was pretty much impressed 
Um, I don't like having variation on my printing cuts. I don't like to see white lines unless I specifically wanted one. And I managed to print off butterflies looking really quite good. I was happy with them, which is a first for a double-sided print for me. Um, other tips, if you're not very good at remembering to put things back as normal, what you can do in Sure Cuts lot is keep this as page one and make sure your grouped butterflies are to the centre of the page where they were in the first place, okay? And keep that as page one, then copy it open up another page and you can label it back and then paste and make sure that they are in the center of the page and then you can do the move and that way you still have your original page and your back page as it were so you can label one front and one back and hopefully that will work nicely for you I said, I found it works for me and I hope it will work for you too because sometimes we just do want an image on the front and the back of things. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.